for people who want to get or stay fit, hitting the gym can only take you so far. Along with exercise, it's important to think about what you are eating and drinking. Joining us to let us know why your diet matters is Tammy Petrosian, a registered dietitian at UCSF Fresno. Welcome, Tammy. Thank you. Tammy, thank you for having me. No, thank you for being here. Tammy, first of all, we live in a world where social media, you know, people look at those pictures, the perfect body. As a dietitian, what should people recommend to stay, what do you recommend for people to stay healthy? Well, I think a well-balanced diet is really important. Um, and understand that when you're looking at all that social media, that's not always reality. Um, but I think more than how we look, it's how we feel and it's the health that we all want to experience that is really important. And of course, you know, what do you recommend for people to do to keep those healthy habits going? Well, I think that one of the most important things, right now we're at the beginning of the new year and everybody has sort of reset their goals with the new year mm -hmm. and um, being healthy is one of those things. So diet is at the forefront and a lot of people are at the gym and they're cutting out you know, sugar, and they're, they're going really aggressively towards their goals, and that's really hard to sustain. So I think starting with like realistic goals that you can achieve and just make changes that become the new way that you eat rather than a diet that you implies a beginning and an end. So I think that that's probably the first step that I would start with. And of course, what do you think those realistic goals should be? Well, one of the things that I see most often is that all of us eat until we're full. It's sort of just the way we're programmed. Yeah. But really, we should only eat until we're not hungry, which is a very different feeling. Oh, that's interesting that you say that. But of course, you know, there's people that are just like, okay, they have, they sometimes do these crash diets. Yes. Right? Okay, first of all, for the people that aren't too familiar with those, what is a crash diet? Well, a crash diet is, um, probably something that eliminates whole food groups and is for a set period of time. I mean, I remember there's been so many things that are in vogue, like eliminate gluten or, you know, eat this soup for a week. Um, and none of those things are really going to produce like sustainable weight loss um, because you can only do that for a set period of time and then you sort of go back to how you were eating which can create that yo-yo dieting cycle where you gain and then you lose it and then you gain more and then you have to lose that again. So I think that taking a more positive approach and trying to add things to your diet instead of taking them away um, is going to be a goal that is more positive and helps for us to um, achieve that. So for example, add a fruit or a vegetable at lunch where you ordinarily skip that. Like little things like that, mm -hmm. right? The little Small details. things add up to big things over time. And of course, why do you think people don't stick to their New Year resolution to have a healthier eating habit? Well, again, I think that they make um, goals that are very, um, how should I say, too drastic, too drastic. Yeah. And then they start feeling deprived, like they can't have you know, anything that is unhealthy. And then you start obsessing about all the foods that, you know, you're trying to absolutely avoid instead of setting a goal of a healthy portion size and maybe 90% of the time make those healthy choices and 10% of the time allow yourself to have something that you know maybe isn't as healthy but in a controlled portion size and, and let yourself enjoy that and then you aren't faced with always feeling deprived. Exactly, and what do you recommend for people to cut to have a healthier eating habit as well? Well, mm -hmm. I think that some of the foods that should be in that 10% mm -hmm. are um, foods that just don't have much nutritional value, um, very sugary foods, mm -hmm. sweets, um, super greasy, fatty foods, um, and, and I would probably start with those. And of course, as an expert, do you think dieting is more important than exercising? Or does it go hand, hand, in, hand on hand? Oh, how does that work? Well, obviously you're going to get better results yeah. if you are exercising. And I think that those two things definitely help to you know, work together to create the result that you're looking for. But I always say that diet is more important than exercise because you can never out 
exercise a bad diet. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I even just think when you go to the gym, if you're looking at your treadmill or you know whatever machine you're on, and it's you know telling you how many calories you're burning, um, it can take 30, 40 minutes to burn you know 300 calories, but that is the equivalent of a cookie or a donut, and we all know how fast we can eat a cookie. We had lots of practice over the holidays. <laughs> That's for sure, right? And of course, for those who are looking to get that help, could they go online? What could they do to get you know the right list of things they could eat and shouldn't eat? Well, I think that there's a lot that you can Google and, and look up, and a lot of people do. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, our professional organization, eatright.org, can give you a place to start to look at just general healthy eating, um, possibly connect you with dietitians in the area if you're looking to have some counseling in addition to you know making those. But I think that um, realistic, simple goals is going to be um, the way to achieve you know whatever you're striving for um, everyone wants that quick fix and I don't blame them we're you know very impatient and, and it does take a commitment uh -huh. but really you feel so much better um, eating healthy and I try to use moderation myself yeah. Um, but I also did like a 30 days where I said, I'm just going to give up all sugar mm -hmm. and see how I feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I jokingly say, darn it, I felt better. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. So, you know, having those foods that mm -hmm. are nutrient dense, that give us that energy and vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. it, it really is worth it. Perfect. People need to remember that. Tammy, thank you so much.